It's the Opie and Anthony Show. You know how we were complaining we don't get girls in the studio? Yeah. yeah. Well, apparently we have one that has worked for the show and didn't know. We have a chick here in the studio, a girl. Wow. Skinny. And I, yeah, I never thought, uh, we usually were against really having girls work for the show because later on there's just always some kind of problem. Uh... Because we, we, the way we talk, especially when the mics are off, it's just, they could turn around and bite us in the ass. So we're, we're not even going to deal with uh, girls. But we actually found out we have one on our staff. It's good our old name Sam. is the, the lovely Miss Sam. Oh, Samantha. Boy. I'm sure that's short for Samantha. Uh, it's a wonderful uh, name. It's Samuel. I'm a boy. No, it's Samantha. I'm a boy. You I'm a are boy. a girl. You I'm are a girl. Boy. Look, he goes, I'm a boy. With a head. His cheeks got all rosy. With a head full of candy. Yes, we haven't forgotten about candy. that, by oh, the way. Good. There's a lot of candy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Danny just drew an, a pretty accurate uh, depiction of uh, female parts and taped it on the front of Samantha where it should go. Sam. Yeah. You uh, are just coming into work now. It is probably just a little after 8 yes. a.m. Usually you get here around Eastern. 4, 4.15, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, very early to make uh, sure. Only four hours late, so. Four hours late, so it must have been a cataclysmic event. Uh, uh, I'm thinking an 18-car pileup. Something huge. Maybe a personal thing that happened, and, and to be this late, it would have to be something gigantic. A fire in the house. Thank God. Is everyone okay? Everyone's fine. They got out in time. There's it no had fire. to be. A, there was no fire. Okay. Uh -uh. The, uh, something equally as bad. Gas leak. I'm just thinking something horrible. And thank God, you and yours are are fine. Like you're finally. Well, that's found all out I that, care about. That you are black. <laughs> <laughs> right. Did Daddy come home finally and knock on the door? No. You needed didn't. a few hours of that uh, radio money. You needed a few hours to let that sink in. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that? No. I. Uh, uh, what happened? I got a flat tire. You got a flat tire. Someone stepped on your shoe. And your, yeah, the back of the shoe. It was that kind of flat, and he couldn't tie it. No, I You got a flat tire. Yes. And you're four hours late. Yes. I, All right. Any explanation, yes, although good. futile, would be a, a good uh, first step. I got it on the way. It was like four o'clock. Well, in I the assumed morning. you got it on the way and not driving home in the future. <laughs> you got it coming to yeah. work. Yes. Yeah. I was like four in the morning. I got a flat tire on eighty-seven, R route eighty-seven. Uh huh. Uh huh. And so, luckily, I was right by the gas station there. So right pulled, by a gas station. Yeah. What luck! So, so you limp in. I pulled right in. And uh, was it a blowout or a slow leak? Uh, it was a slow leak, but I mean, it was done by the time I got in the gas station. So you felt it going, <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, the squishy flat tire. Okay. Yep. And so I called uh, my insurance people. You called because, your insurance company. Well, they send the. the I just call. love going through this series of phone calls. So first, yeah. you call your insurance company. Yeah, over I a flat tire, as, as I, if as if somebody oh, is is. Oh my God! There's someone pinned in the wreckage. Why would my insurance come? What do I do? No, I... No? No one was pinned in any wreckage. Why is your first call to the insurance company? Because I sat there and said, well, I didn't put a jack in the car, so there's surely not one in there. And so wait, I... Wait, 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 wait. You, you didn't put a jack in, so there couldn't no. be one in there. You know what else you, you didn't bought put? a car. You also didn't put male genitals <laughs> into those boxes. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you put... The engine in your car. No, I didn't. Now, is there an engine in your car? Yeah. Did you put ah. a transmission in your car? No, I didn't. Put Did you put tires in. on your car? No, I didn't put Did you put any part of your car in your car? No. no. No, I didn't. But are those parts there to make the car work? Yes, they are. All right. But yeah. you had just assumed. I thought the jack was extra. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh bitch. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. So you're in the gas station. You call your insurance company. Because I need a tow they, truck. They, Roadside assistant. After they laugh, they uh, laugh, what do they say? They laughed. They laughed at you. Stop it. They laughed at you. A really nice Did woman. Did they tell you to hold on? Picked up the phone. Did no, they, they put you on hold? At one point. Okay, yes. they were. That's when they were laughing. Know why they put you on hold? Come here, 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 come here. Everyone here at the facility, please come down to uh, the line number four. The phone. You got to hear this idiot. He has a flat, and he's calling us. <laughs> I thought they had received calls like that before. Yeah. Well, oh, I'm sure they have. And uh, and so I told the nice woman the problem, and she said, okay. She took my details and said she'd get back to me with the time that. Uh, the truck would arrive. Uh-huh. 
Um, and so eventually she didn't call back for a while. Finally, she called back and said that since I was on 87, uh, only one tow truck place would go there. Now, this is a, a big problem with uh, uh, needing roadside assistance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other than having a flat tire, by the way. N needing real roadside assistance, man's roadside assistance, like you friggin' you throw a rod. That is when you're going to need it. Your, your, your piston flies through the head uh, of your engine. Now you're going to need roadside assistance. You call up, and then they start telling you uh, that there's basic jurisdictions yeah. for uh, certain roads. Certain highways have to be dealt with but with the state-sanctioned mm. tow people. Regular roads, you could call anybody. Um, I was just telling a story about how I was in Mamaroneck. I got off the off-ramp. My car died. I made it to the end of the off-ramp. But they couldn't decide if I was on the street or still on the off-ramp the beginning or on the off-ramp or if it still was part of the throughway. So, no, I could not get a tow truck. So I pulled the plates, walked to a rider rental place, rented a truck for twenty nine ninety nine, and drove that one way back to where I live. And the um, Dodge Aries K could, for all I care, still be there. And no one ever called you? No, no. As far as your old car goes, no, I never called. They weren't going to tell me. I could not get an answer. So I just, you got to at that point be a man mm -hmm. and make a decision and move on before you starve to death. <laughs> so you you couldn't get a tow truck on eighty, eighty seven, eighty seven because uh, well, a different said jurisdiction. The one place uh, they couldn't get in contact with them. And so very they early said, in the morning, yes. Call uh, pound seventy seven, and they'll tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. Oh, they better dump out of that. Oh no! Uh, make sure you dump out of that. What's gonna <laughs> happen? Who knows? It's a little edgy. So now, do you get a man? Got to keep it safe. Pound seventy seven didn't work. Oh, it didn't work. No. Okay. Um. <laughs> So I got a man, my dad, I called him. Oh, you called yeah. your daddy. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so cute. It's like, yeah. I did that once, too. Yeah. Um, what happened was the chain came off of my bicycle, and um, my foot got caught in it, and I oh. started crying, and I called my daddy to help me. I was six. <laughs> so you called daddy, yeah. and what um, happened? Did he? Did you hear him like put the hand over the receiver and go, oh, little faggots on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> the fruits on the phone. We had high hopes for this one. No. He, like, uh, Why but, you be calling me? But it's so obvious. He has candy in his head. <laughs> My dad doesn't. We all like see that. it. Oh, he doesn't? No. Okay. Um, well spoken. <laughs> like Osama. He said. Or Obama. Whatever his name is. Obama. <laughs> Obama. Both well spoken. <laughs> he said to, uh, he didn't really know what to do. He said, try calling 911 and see if they can. Okay. Now I'm seeing something. You're a chip off the old block. Well. What? Here, here's the thing. Hmm. 911. Is so reserved. I, I, it, 911 is reserved for. Hi, 911? Oh, no. I'm going to be dead if you don't get here in minutes. It's never hi, 911. Yeah, it's. it's <laughs> it's never it still worked. It's never hello. Is this nine one one? She was very badly raped. You see? <laughs> yes, uh, we're getting that. No, she's dead. Okay, we'll send the police right away. <laughs> I'm pleased you appreciate good wine. No, we can't drink on the job. I'm sorry, but we'll be there uh, shortly. Here's a here, here's a nine one one call. Not. I have a flat tire. <laughs> I have a flat. I have a flat tire, and my head's full of candy. I need a cat scan and a spare tire. I'll give you free candy if you come help me. <laughs> you can shake my head. I'll give you the combination. It's a ear twist, a nose push, and an eyelid slide. <laughs> Your nine one one. 911 is for emergency use only. A flat tire 
is not an emergency like that. I needed help. No. <laughs> I needed help. No. You needed <laughs> what what you should have been given at birth maybe to if, be called a man. Maybe if you got a flat tire in Oswego where it's snowing, what, a foot every ten minutes. Very good. And you could freeze to death. All right, I maybe get it. Maybe in but, Harlem. But you're in the <laughs> the metropolis that is New York City. You're, 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 I started off the call by saying this is not a real emergency. Oh, that's good. Huh? They great. always love hearing that. Yeah, great. Okay, we'll send the police to arrest you then, because this, <laughs> this is for real emergency. You know there was a real emergency on hold, but they went yeah. to you oh. first. Oh, my God. Got another example of a 911 call over there, maybe? Let me uh, try to see what I might... Uh... 911 emergency, how can we help you? Oh my god, this is terrible. I've come home, my whole family's been shot to death. Could you please send someone my baby? It's their tennis and someone shot my whole family. Oh my dear sweet Jesus. We need you to come back. Oh god, my family's dead. Oh, I didn't do it. I really didn't, I swear. I know you use this later and at the trial. <laughs> I don't want to look bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> That's a 911 emergency. <laughs> Here's another one. 911 emergency, how can I help you? <laughs> you bitch! You hang up the phone! Who are you on the phone? Ma'am, please stay on the phone! <laughs> oh my... You hang up that phone! Who are you on the phone with, bitch? 911, <laughs> hello? 911 emergency, are you there? <laughs> No, they hung up. Okay, send a car. We got the address. <laughs> Again, example of an emergency. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not, I got a flat. 9911. <laughs> I have a flat. I have a flat tire. What do you mean, don't call 911? Uh, but I, it's an emergency to me. I have to be at work. I work at Opie Anthony show. Yeah, I have a flat. Uh, hello? And my head might be filled with candy. <laughs> hello? Did they hang up on me? <laughs> Nine one one. They said that since I was at a gas station, not the side of the road, uh, it wasn't a dangerous situation. Of course it isn't. So they weren't sending anybody. Good. I, of course, I asked the gas station guy beforehand if he could help. He Never said, dibby that's dabby exactly dabby what he said. And what do you think of flat tires? Why, yeah, do you, that's, that's, why do you call 911? Because the gas station guy forgot to top off. <laughs> <laughs> Freak. We got an actual example of a 911 call. It's quick. Uh, Lincoln, 911, what is your emergency? Yes, I, I just want to... May I ask you what time is it, please? What time is it? Yes. It's 3.05 <laughs> p.m. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You're in that there same you category today there, by the way. Hi, what time is it? <laughs> What's the temperature? <laughs> wow, it's cold, huh? It was cold. KDK-12 to KDK-1. KDK-12 to KDK-1. I got a flat tire. <laughs> Mrs. Torrance, are you okay? <laughs> we got another example of a uh, 911 call. Just like this. Is it 2-0-1-6? Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Wow, you are really looking like you use this properly now. <laughs> Holy mother of God, who are these idiots? <laughs> Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Every Wednesday is Sunday. <laughs> well, so then, since technically I was in the Bronx, I call 311. 311. Well, if you were now... The, and if you were in the Bronx, now I can see where there might be an emergency. A little bit yeah. of an emergency. But 311 mm -hmm. uh, is what you... That's who you're supposed to call when you have a question about... <laughs> Like city and civil like, service. Like a frozen pipe. Yeah, yeah. In your you apartment. Got, if yeah. you don't have heat, call 311. And, if you, you know, have a slum landlord, call 311. Uh, if you, there's a pothole that hasn't been fixed in front of your house, call 311. That's what you do. That's kind of the 911 light. Yeah. That's what you needed. 911 light. Do you have another example of a real 911 call over there? <laughs> My baby's missing. We were put her in bed and I woke up this morning and she's gone. The window's open and I got the windows around. The baby's gone. Oh my God. What are we? I'm going to look for little Japanese. I'm looking in the basement. I'll be right back on the phone. Oh God. <laughs> She's got something around her neck. Wait, shut 
out your goddamn... Hey, wait a minute. Uh, not that you can't shut up, but... The police are on their way, sir. The police? Can you give me a little time to straighten up? Jesus. I gotta get fingerprints off of her neck and the cowboy hat. <laughs> You are just adult. <laughs> and in my defense, yeah. 311 said, all right, we're going to connect you to 911. And I said, don't do that. Because you presented it as some type of emergency. I did, I went How did you present? Okay, okay. I here can't it is. wait for here him to get arrested before the end of the show. I want an exact okay. recreation. Yeah. Hello, 311. Hi. Uh... Ah! Flat tire! <laughs> You yelled, right? No, I didn't yell. Okay, hello, 311. How can we help you? Whatever we say. I just said, hi, uh, I'm on uh, 87. I have a flat tire. Oh, my God! Call 911! Not a flat tire! A flat tire! It was shot out, wasn't it? You were being carjacked! We'll be right with you, ma'am. <laughs> miss. We have another example of a real of a real 911 call. It's quick. Ma'am. Listen to this one. I'd also like to be connected to uh, Domino's Pizza Place in Arlington. That's not a, this is 911. 911 is for police and fire emergencies. Well, I can get through on Pizza Hut Line or Four. Okay, well, no. well ma'am, 911 does not connect you to Domino's Pizza. <laughs> Oh my God! Dump out of that! You better dump out of that! A little too controversial. <laughs> well, I told him don't connect me to nine one one. Don't. Because well, I, do, I went that route already, and it went badly. <laughs> <laughs> so three one one told you to call nine one one. You then said no. Yeah, don't uh, do that because it won't help. Right. And uh, and then they said, well, that's all we can do. And I said, can you? connect me to somebody who I can talk to, like, that has a tow truck? And they said no. Scooter? So, well, I don't Skeeter? know. Maybe there's someone. <laughs> someone with a tow truck. Yeah, I know a guy. <laughs> Do you have AAA? Uh, no, I have a similar service, but that, those are the people who couldn't... Well, it's a similar service, with yeah. everything without the tow truck. So, <laughs> yes. I don't want to mention my name because... They so don't. when did you discover that you could uh, change your own tire there? Well, yeah. Now, this is what... It, this, this is, all is just cu a culmination of all this crap Ooh. is the fact that any man should be able to go into his trunk, look for a jack, look for a lug wrench, jack up his car, and change his goddamn tire like a man. Well... Now, what happened? At that point, I called my dad to film in on what was going on. Dad. He said, all right, I'm just going to come meet you, call you as, uh, call the company back that I mentioned before. And uh, and so I called them back and stayed on hold with them until they convinced somebody from 911 to send a tow truck down. From 911? They yeah. called 911. Yes, I was on three-way. And they called 911 and they said, Holy Jesus. he needs to get out of there. And so my dad came. The tow truck finally came, and the guy said, you got a jack? And I said, no. And he said, uh, okay, well, we'll lift you up with the truck then. And as they were lifting me up with the truck, my dad walked around the car, pulled the passenger seat forward, and he said, for future reference, here's your tire iron and jack under the passenger seat. And I said, thanks. <laughs> so, you, how you, old are you? I'm 23. 23. Mm -hmm. And you got a flat and had to have your dad come Your you? daddy so came. You had to get your dad at 911. <laughs> your daddy, 911, 311, the insurance company, <laughs> and a cop car came, and the tow truck guy said, the, the, the tow truck guy said, uh, don't worry, it's just a flat. Yeah, well. Oh, his dad and the policeman came. We're, we're going to help you today. This is, uh, okay. this is another real 911 call. Hello, 911? Hi, this is O.J. Simpson. I believe something terrible has happened to my ex-wife, Nicole. Why? Because there's blood all over me. Huh, damn it. I cut myself on an ashtray being angry when I heard of her death that I will hear about in a matter of moments. Oh, I haven't heard about it yet, but I know about it. But I, damn it, I'm tipping golf balls out back if you need me. And then I'll be taking a drive with a mustache, a gun, and some money. <laughs> and calling my mama, because my daddy ain't around. <laughs> you are an idiot. All right, we might have one more 911 call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a real 911 call. Yeah, yeah. 911, I wouldn't dream of. You know what it was as a kid was, when you heard 911? You were afraid to call it. Absolutely. Even you if there's call a, it? Even if there's something real going on, you're, you're still thinking in your head, man, should, it's I, like, should, should I pull should the trigger I and call them? I don't know. I saw an accident on uh, the parkway. Yeah. And uh, it happened right in front of me. And I, I kind of 
hit my I, I hit OnStar. And I let them take care of it. I go, I just want to tell you, there's an accident. You got my location on GPS. She goes, okay, we'll get in touch with the police and pff, let them do it. They got the location. They know everything. 911 is something when someone right near you is suffering from something that they will die from. That's it. Yeah. You want to give them one more example before we move on? Okay. Here's a 911 call. 911! 911 emergency. Uh, there's a blonde bimbo who seems to be choking on her own vomit, and we don't know uh, whose semen this is. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please send somebody to help her and forensics to take maybe a smear? Funny, Sam, the part of that call could have been made by Sam. Yeah. <laughs> it's on my back. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Daddy, could you help me? I got a flat. Did you, uh... I'm from New York. <laughs> did, your, did you make eye contact with your dad as you drove away? Like, thank you, Daddy. Couldn't have been a proud moment for Dad. He's got to come and bail his 22-year-old kid out. 23. 23, worst year old kid out for a flat tire. Well, I, uh drove with him back home so we could drop the car off at the service station and then he gave me a ride at the train station. I'll let me try to defend you a little bit. And you probably won't even be able to answer this. Is, is your car of the type where the, the jack and everything is stored under the passenger seat? Yes. That's where it's stored. Like if you looked in your manual oh, yeah. in your glove compartment and looked for jack, it would say, look under passenger oh, seat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's no. not even like somebody lazy yeah. took it out of the trunk, used it, and just no. decided to throw it under the pendant. Because that even would be a bit of a defense in your no. part because it wasn't where it was supposed to be. My dad walked up to the car, took the manual out of the box, and moved the seat forward and said, that's what Why you couldn't you just look at the manual under flat tire? I thought a jack is some extra. You know what Something I mean? Something extra. extra? It's part yeah. of your car. It's like a flashlight. That's the only flashlight. thing they, they give you for free. You don't go days. to the jack store. And, like, buy a jack for your car. It comes... Jacks come with cars. They're part of the car. You learn something new all the time. <laughs> and that's what I learned today. I and am stunned. Hello, my name's Jack. I'm here to change your <laughs> you tire. You know, this is just proof that you guys have to man up a bit. You got to stop with... with, with this this calling nine one one and just figure it out. He's got candy in his head. He does. Poor it's boy. very obvious at this full point. Of candy. Head full of junk. I bet it wasn't full of that foam that seals up tires. <laughs> it just stuck your nostril on that valve stem and <laughs> would have been nice. <laughs> would have right. been. It's the Opie and Anthony show. Thanks, Sam. You're welcome.